In this video, we will go over your client panel and the things you can do within it. Currently, this is your home page. This is what you will see when you first log in. On the right, you will be able to search through your tours via the tour ID number, the tour name, or the street address. You can also filter to show all of your tours, photos only, photos in process, inactive tours, tours awaiting payment, and live tours. When you click on a tour, you will have three sections, general, media, and miscellaneous. Starting with the general section, you have the download center. This is where you can download your available media, such as photos, panoramas, videos, or flyers. If you have a floor plan, it will be located in the individual file area. You can download in bulk by selecting your file of choice or to choose multiple files. You can also choose to download individual media by selecting the size desired. In the Info tab, you can add any information about the property you would like to show on the tour. Here you can add an open house event that will take place on a specific date and time. You can add the start time and end. This open house banner will appear on the top of your tour and will disappear after the end date. In the address tab, this is where you can make any corrections to the address, city, and or zip code. In the MLS tab, you have the access to edit the MLS service and number. In your Settings tab, you can edit the links for the map, flyer, and neighborhood information, as well as add any custom links you may have. This includes any external 3D tours you wish to add. You can choose to make any of these links available to show on the tour or hide the link altogether. In the Custom Neighborhood URL, you have the option of opening a link in a new window or in a pop-up box. You may also find that you have an immersive 3D tour available. This tab will allow you to make edits from within the 3D tour, or you can even have the option of purchasing the offline viewing. In the media section, you have media edit, where you can upload media such as images, floor plans, and video. You can click on the upload media button or drag and drop your media directly below to upload. If you have images you wish to hide from the tour, you can click on one or more of your images while holding down the shift button. You will see the change visibility number change each time you select a new image. When you have selected all your images, click on change visibility and select gallery only or neither. If you click on neither, a line through an eye will appear. If you want to make an image visible that is not, click on it and choose either both or gallery only. If you click on the edit button within the image itself, you will have the option to change the name of the image, add a description, choose which media type it is, including it both in virtual tour and gallery, gallery only, or neither. You can control the display time, the image appears, and choose which tour you want it to be displayed in, both branded and unbranded, branded only, or unbranded only. When you are ready to go back, you can click save or cancel if you haven't changed anything. In media settings, you can choose music from the drop-down list, control the pan zoom effects, turning it on or off, adjusting the panorama time from slowest to fastest, setting the default direction of the pan zoom effect, and setting the panorama duration from the default, auto, or you can customize the time. In the Flyer Edit tab, you can select the images you want by dragging and dropping them in the selected top area and adding a custom description at the bottom. In the Miscellaneous section, you can view the Statistics Summary. 
you will see how many total photos were viewed, the total tour views, the total visitors, and the average images viewed per visitor. You can view the full stats by clicking on the icon and the tour activity report will show you the most popular images, tour traffic for the last seven days, the last eight weeks, top 30 referring sites, as well as the number of repeat visitors. You can enable or disable customer stat emails and add additional email addresses. You can even choose the frequencies such as never, weekly, or monthly. You can also send out the stats email right away by clicking here. On the links tab, you have access to all the available download links for the tour. At the end of each link, you will find the options copy URL to clipboard, copy iframe to clipboard, or QR code. You can choose to have a custom link using the checkbox at the bottom. You can customize your link when you check and uncheck the boxes. You will see that this link changes, and if you copy the link in your browser, you'll see your custom link with the settings you've chosen. Additionally, you will see on the top right the status of the tour. It is currently sent to published, meaning it is live. But if you want, you can deactivate the tour here. Please keep in mind, if you do choose to deactivate the tour, you will need to reach out to your photographer to reactivate it if necessary. In the tab, My Account, you can choose Profile Settings, YouTube Setup, My Pages, or Logout. In the profile settings, you can change your password, your personal information, your profile picture, and company information. If you would like, you can also add assistant emails. By clicking the YouTube setup and adding your account, you can automatically publish videos of your virtual tours to your YouTube account. If you click on My Pages, you will have the option of creating your own web page with your active listings by clicking on the customer portal. You can create more pages with information you want to promote. For more information, contact us at hello at urbanimmersive.com.